Module 10, Section 11.4, The Binomial Theorem. The following binomial expansions begin to reveal a pattern. The expansion of x plus y to the n begins with x to the n and ends with y to the n. The variables in the terms after x to the n follow the pattern x to the n minus 1, y, x to the n minus 2, y2, x to the n minus 3, y3, and so on to y n. With each term, the exponent on n, excuse me, the exponent on x decreases by 1, and the exponent on y increases by 1. In each term, the sum of the exponents on x and y is always n. The coefficients of the expansion follow Pascal's triangle, which we'll look at now. Each row of the triangle begins with a 1 and ends with a 1. Each number in the triangle that is not a 1 is the sum of the two numbers directly above it, 1 to the right and 1 to the left. Numbering the rows of the triangle, 0, 1, 2, starting at the top, the numbers in row n are the coefficients of x to the n, x to the n minus 1, y, x to the n minus 2, y squared, x to the n minus 3, y cubed, to y to the n in our expansion of x plus y to the n. So here we see Pascal's triangle and our expansions from our first slide. And you can see that in our row 1, where we had an exponent of 1 in our expansion, the coefficients are all 1's. Where we have, let's go to row 4, we have 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1 as our coefficients. And you see that here we have 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Noticing that we start with x to the 4th, and our x, the exponent on x consecutively goes down by 1. So we have x to the 3rd, x squared, x, and then no x in our last term. And then y, we have no y in our first term, and we start out with y in our second term, and then increase the exponent by 1 each time until we get to y to the 4th. Also notice that the sum of your exponents in each term should be 4. So we start out with 4. Here we have 3 plus 1, which is 4. Here is 2 plus 2, which is 4. And 1 plus 3 is 4, and then 4 here. Here's a definition for a factorial. For any positive integer n, n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 1. And 0 factorial is equal to 1. So we want to evaluate 7 factorial. 7 factorial would be 7 multiplied by every consecutive number after it down to 1. So we have or before it down to 1. So we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And when we multiply that all out, we'll get 5,040. Now we can do factorials on our calculator. So we pull up our calculator and we type 7, then math, arrow over to PRB, and number 4 is our factorial symbol. We hit enter and we see it works it out for us. Here we have a definition to find our binomial coefficients. The symbols n c r and n over r for the binomial coefficients are read n choose r and it's given as n factorial divided by r factorial over n minus r factorial. The values of n choose r are the values in the nth row of Pascal's triangle. So 3 choose 0 is the first number in the third row, and 3 choose 2 is the third. Let's evaluate 6 choose 2. Remember that our formula is for n choose r, which was n c r, is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So here we'll have 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 minus 2 factorial, or 4 factorial. 
So 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, multiplied by 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now you see we can cancel here, and 2 will go into 6 3 times, so we end up with 3 times 5, or 15, for our answer. Now let's evaluate 8 to 0. We'll end up with 8 factorial over 0 factorial times 8 minus 0 factorial, which is 8 factorial divided by, remember 0 factorial is 1, times 8 factorial. But these will cancel, so we'll end up with 1 for our answer. Now let me show you a way we could do this on the calculator without having to do each individual factorial. We type in our value for n first, then press math, arrow over to PRB, and you see that number 3 is our n choose r. So we press 3, and then we type in our r value, and hit enter, and you see we get 15. We'll do the same with our second. And here you see we get 1. So here we have the binomial theorem, which basically lists out what happens when we do our expansion of x plus y to the n. Notice that we'll have our variables on x to the n increasing, going, decreasing down, and our variables on y increasing. And then we have n choose 1 all the way up to n choose n minus 1 for the values in between x to the n and y to the n. In this example, let's write the binomial expansion of x plus y to the n. So first let's find our coefficients. The easiest way to do this would be on our calculator. And we can open up a list, go to stat and enter, and we'll type in 0 up through n, which in this case is 9. And over in list 2, we'll arrow up to the heading on L2, and it's important that you're up in the heading and you'll type in n, which is 9, press math, arrow over to PRB, and number 3. And then we want it to do all the values in L1, so we'll press 2nd and 1, and hit enter. And we see our coefficients listed down here. So our coefficients were 1, 9, 36, 84, 126, 126, 84, 36, 9, and then 1. So we start out with our expansion. We have x plus y to the 9th is equal to x to the 9th, and the coefficient is 1, plus our coefficient 9, x to the 8th, and now we start bringing in y, plus 36, x to the 7th, y squared, plus 84, x to the 6th, y to the 3rd, plus 126, x to the 5th, y to the 4th, plus 126, x to the 4th, y to the 5th, plus 84, x to the 3rd, y to the 6th, plus 36, x to the 2nd, y to the 7th, plus 9, x, y to the 8th, plus y to the ninth. Now let's expand a minus b over 2 to the fifth. There's going to be a little more work involved with this, but you can either use Pascal's triangle or the calculator to find our coefficients, so let's do that first. We want to clear our list, so we'll arrow up to the heading on L2 and hit clear and enter. We'll arrow over and up to the heading on L1, hit clear, and enter. So we'll type in 0 through n, which in this case is 5. Arrow over and up to our heading on L2. We type in n, which is 5. Math, arrow over to PRB, number 3 for NCR. 
and we want to use L1, so we do second 1. And we see that our coefficients will be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. So let's start out with our expansion. We'll have 1 times a to the fifth plus 5 a to the fourth times negative b over 2 plus 10 a to the third times negative b over 2 to the second plus 10 a squared negative b over 2 to the third plus 5 a times negative b over 2 to the fourth plus negative b over 2 to the fifth. So now we need to work out each one of these with our b. So we have a to the fifth plus 5a to the fourth times negative b over 2 plus 10a to the third. And when we square negative b over 2, we'll get positive b squared over 4 plus 10a squared. We want to cube negative b over 2, so we'll get a negative b to the third over 8 plus 5a, and we'll raise it to the fourth power, so we'll get a positive again, b to the fourth over 16, plus now when we raise it to the fifth, we'll get negative b to the fifth over 32. So this would be a to the fifth, and now we have 5 over 2, and it's negative, so we have minus 5 halves a to the fourth b, plus 10 fourths a to the third b squared, minus 10 eighths a to the second b to the third, plus 5 sixteenths a b to the fourth, minus b to the fifth over 32, or 1 over 32 b to the fifth. So let's reduce, and we'll get our final answer as a to the fifth, minus 5 halves a to the fourth b plus 5 halves a to the third b squared minus 5 fourths a squared b to the third plus 5 sixteenths a b to the fourth minus 1 over 32 b to the fifth. The rth term of the binomial expansion of x plus y to the n, where n is greater than or equal to r minus 1, is n choose r minus 1 times x to the n minus r minus 1 times y to the r minus 1. So here we want to find the fourth term of a plus 2b to the tenth power. So we know that n in this case is 10 r is 4, since we're looking for the fourth term. x in this case is a, and y is 2b. So we have our formula, n choose r minus 1, times x to the n minus r minus 1, times y to the r minus 1. So that'll be equal to 10 choose 3, x to the 10 minus 3, y to the third. So 10 choose 3, when we do that in our calculator, we'll get 120. x, remember, is a, and we're raising that to the seventh power. y is 2b, and we're raising that to the third power. So we have 120, a to the seventh, when we raise 2b to the third, we'll get 8b to the third. So we want to multiply 120 by 8, and we'll get 960a to the seventh, b to the third.